Well, good Friday morning to you folks. Hopefully things are going well with you. I hope you had a good night's rest. You're ready to face this day. March the 15th. March 15th, 1752. Going to be reading from the Revival today. In God is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Psalm 62.7 Storms, both physical and spiritual, are a part of life. God's protection through physical storms serve as a wonderful reminder that He will keep us through the spiritual tempest as well. He is our refuge and strength and always present help in time of trouble. That's Psalm 46.1. John Wesley wrote of an experience in a storm while preaching. While I was preaching at West Street in the afternoon, one of the most violent storms I ever remember came up. In the midst of a sermon, a great part of the house opposite to the chapel was blown down. We heard a huge noise, but knew not the cause, so much the more did God speak to our hearts. And great was the rejoicing of many in confidence of his protection. Between four and five, I took horse with my wife and daughter. The tiles were rattling from the houses on both sides, but they hurt not us. The songwriter wrote, Why should I feel discouraged? Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for heaven above? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. His eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches me. Yes, if God cares for the sparrows and the lilies of the field, we can be sure he never takes his eye off of us, no matter what the circumstance or situation. As Jesus told his disciples in Luke 12, 6 and 7, are not five sparrows sold for two farthings? And not one of them is forgotten before God. But even the very hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, ye are of more value than many sparrows. Go to him today with your trial and trouble. He is the rock of your strength and a refuge in times like these, casting all your care upon him, for he careth for you. And that's First Peter 5, 7. We're in revival there at Charity, and last night, um, Brother Seth Simpson preached, and he preached from the book of Psalms, where Paul and those that were with him were uh, in a storm, and, and uh, it even uh, lasted uh, into 14 days um, that they hadn't even eaten anything and finally the ship was broken and the men survived and some of them made it to shore just on pieces of the ship but God was there um, he delivered them and just as this writer says he will deliver us as well there are going to be things that we go through and there are going to be things like he said last night that we don't understand um, I sang the song here a while back I don't need to understand I just need to hold his hand but it doesn't stop me from wanting to understand sometimes, and I'm sure you're the same way. As a pastor, just like a father, there are things I see that happen that if I could fix them, I would. If I could help people or fix people, I would. Sometimes you just can't. And it drives you crazy if you allow it to. Sometimes you just have to back away and say, God, you know the needs. And so I pray for folks today that are in need of help today. When I'm broken from the battle And I've lost another round Satan whispers to my troubled mind just lay your armor down where are those you've loved and trusted look around you they're all gone would be easy to surrender when you're standing on Then I bow my head in sadness 
as I ponder what to do. I've been in God's army for so long, and I've been a soldier true. Then I hear a voice from heaven saying, Pilgrim, it is I. Lift your head and take new courage. Turn your eyes toward the sky. And I see a great band of angels camped all around me and i see the captain rising up a challenge to me i know i'm safe from harm when i'm touching jesus oh yes the battle is his the victory is mine and victory is sweet and i see a great band of angels camped all around me and i see the captain rising up a challenge to me i know i'm safe from harm when i'm touching jesus oh yes the battle is his the victory is mine and victory is sweet the battle is his the victory is mine and victory is sweet lord i thank you for victory God, sometimes I feel so discouraged and so defeated, but God, it is usually at those times that you send just the right message, just the right song, just the right word, just the right person along to say, just lift your head. Lift your head. I've got your back. Lord, we love you. We thank you for all you do for us in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, folks, tonight... Uh, if you come out and be with us, uh, Brother Mike Simpson is preaching tonight. Debbie LeBrun and Eddie Yance are supposed to be there to sing for us. If you'd like to come out and be in revival, we'd love to have you. Um, continues on through Sunday night. God bless. Have a great day.